Tiverton Methodist Church played host to the inauguration service of Tiverton's new street pastors on Saturday. The service was led by Reverend Alan Rothwell and the inauguration by the Bishop of Crediton, the Right Reverend Bob Evans. To serve him as a street pastor here in Tiverton. We do. Do you acknowledge your dependence on Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit as you serve? Pastors are there just with no, um, no axe to grind, um, nothing being pressured. They're just simply there to pick you up and be there if you're feeling uh, alone or worried or um, if, if uh, uh, you need some help, some practical help. Uh, and they, they work there and just being available, really. It's, it's, not, it's not an intrusive thing. And once people realise it, week by week, then I think after a bit, um, pastors tell me that um, they get recognised as the people come out of the clubs and... Uh, uh, they just know that you can go and ask for help, actually, without any condition. And so it is in the name of the community, and above all in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that I commission you this night as street, street pastors into it. The scheme is backed in Tiverton by the Town Council and Devon and Corn Police, who also attended the service. On a Saturday night, um, maybe they've been a little bit um, enthusiastic with the, uh, the Saturday night, but some of them will be thinking when they see a police officer, oh no, here we go again. But when they've got a friendly face of a street pastor, they're more likely to open up and maybe talk to somebody for however long, for problems that may be affecting them in life as well, uh, not just on a Saturday night. Um, so I think that's going to bring, bring a different direction to people, um, and hopefully people will be a little bit better for it. There are benefits to the police, of course, in the sense that we can focus on other matters that may require our skills and powers and attention. Um, and actually, it might be better off that people are dealt with by the street pastors um, than any other agency. So we welcome them because uh, we think they're good for the town, um, <coughs> but they're separate to the police. Um, but they will inevitably, our paths will cross. And um, we've already been supporting them, giving them some inputs in terms of training um, so that where police and street pastors paths do cross, we can work properly together. Following the service, we made our way to the chat building on Gold Street for a police briefing and one final prayer before we headed out onto the code streets. First thing for the pastors to do was to introduce themselves to landlords and shop owners. Don't carry that pretty thing. <laughs> Come on guys, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're going to the road. Yes. You haven't done yours? Oh dear. My one got, was the same. Right. right, where shall we go? Upwards? <laughs> oh, I think we need to meet you, right, Julian, Tony. Tony. Right. Yeah, well, nice Bruce, to meet you, Tony. And you're in. Nice to meet you, Warren. Good street pastors. What's that? It's like the rich property to all the licenses to say hello and just leave you with. Teams of four will be out every Saturday from eight until late. But as today was the first outing, people wanted to know who they were, and it did elicit a positive response from some of the revellers. So what do you do? Well, we're what you call street pastors, and we're just out and around the town, just making certain that you youngsters are safe. Well, anybody's safe. Yeah. Or anybody, young, yeah, not young just you. Yeah. Anybody that's left on the Everybody who needs yeah. to yeah. see yeah. his job. And hopefully, yeah. you know, yeah. we yeah. might be able yeah. to defuse yeah. the situation um, yeah. rather than actually getting involved with the police. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. 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 Hi, DB. 
think you're great, honestly. I think what we're doing is really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. It's because we love you all. That's, oh, that's everybody. great. I tell you what, you'd be good for our PR. Really? <laughs> you'd be excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really wouldn't. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah. I think what you're doing is really, really great. But, all yeah, nice to meet What's your name? Yeah. I am Tim. Tim, Tim. Nice Tim to meet you, Tim. McFenimus. <laughs> McPenifus. No. We're street pasties. <laughs> Where are you off to now? Oh, well, it depends on where the actual women are going now, don't you? Oh, right? I see. Yeah. I just wonder where you come from as well. No, I don't tell nobody where I come from. No, you don't, right? That's right. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't blame you whatsoever. Quite true, quite true, sir. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So you're going to find somewhere else to have a bevy. Well, if you want any, know any gossip, I can let anybody know any gossip in right here. They don't come by this part of the country. No. No. But it wasn't long before Bruce spotted something which the street pastors could do something about. Oh, it's a plant that somebody's left pulled out and uh, yeah. left on the side, but if we plant it, hopefully it'll grow again. And there's a glass. And I've got a glass. Oh, yeah. So that's a good thing. Maker. So we can actually return that in a minute to a pub. Hopefully wherever it's come from. Oh, what yeah. is this? Oh, okay, lovely, yeah. rightfully returned. Oh, okay, yeah. bless you. Another glass safely put back to where it came from. It is. So hopefully one of the great things is the fact that it's not going to get broken. Nobody's going to tread on it because basically if anybody treads on the glass, um, they've got to go down to Exeter Hospital mm. because the Tiverton Hospital doesn't have uh, the x-ray department open at night. Uh, so therefore there's a journey down, wait for the patient and then they've got to come back again. So it's two, three hour journey for the actual ambulance to be out of commission. The street pastors also came in handy with their antiseptic wipes when a girl fell over outside the bank and was bleeding heavily from the knee. I fell over and two men left me on the floor. Do you want me to do it? Do you want to do it yourself? Can you do it? We can pick you up, Steve. Hold on, Sabina. Yeah, they didn't pick you up. Yeah, after 10 minutes. Are you going to want another one, eh? Yeah. So all the, uh, all the street passes trained in first aid? No, I am. Uh, we have all been on first aid training, um, but one or two of us are actually trained first aiders as well. But uh, we're coming into action now then. Yeah. Stephen said, which was. But we've. Um, but we actually. Um, we have all had sufficient training in order to deal with minor incidents and to recognise things where we do need to call a paramedic in to actually deal with it. After the knee was all patched up, somebody who had been wearing high heels on their night out wanted something a little more comfortable to walk home in. The pastors were able to help out once again. Yeah, that's all right, Will. You. Yeah, you'll get all comfortably now, anyway. Yeah, I will indeed. I don't know what state your tights are going to be in, but still. Oh, they'll have holes in, don't worry about that. <laughs> Well, there are people out every. <laughs> At three o'clock, the crowds exited Remedies on a chilly Sunday morning and left peacefully. The street pastors could then return to base and sunrise what had been a good first night for them. Is that me that's just done that? Oh, ideal, thank you very much. Let's right. back up the station. <laughs> but it's brilliant, absolutely fabulous evening. Great team. We yeah. all work well together. Great team leader as well. No, yeah. no. <laughs> no we're all good, just good team. And it all worked very well indeed. Good. Thank, thank you so you much indeed for the time. prayers. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You must be really, really tired. We're, we're, I think we're ready for. We're ready for. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're ready. Oh, for yeah. Yeah. As you have seen, the street pastors have been welcomed in Tiverton tonight, and it has been deemed a great success, which they hope will continue to thrive in our town. 
at four in the morning, we were all able to go home and rest our sleepy heads. And the street pastors are ready to do it all again very soon. I'm Lewis Clark, reporting for Lose News in Tiverton.